How's it going, everybody? I'm Stevie Duncan, the Everyday Sommelier here at Wonderful Chocolate Secrets. I'll be taking you through three of the uh, chocolate and wine pairings that they offer here. The first part of our pairing today will be the Ferrari Carano Fumé Blanc. And the two chocolates being paired with it are gonna be Chocolate Secrets' Coconut Lime and Bananas Foster Bonbons. Essentially, what a Fumé Blanc is, is a Sauve Blanc where the last few months of the maturation process are finished off in French oak. So you're gonna get those bright, tropical, crisp Sauve Blanc notes on the front end with those warm, oaky notes on the back end. The first chocolate in the pairing, being the Coconut Lime Bonbon, is a white chocolate ganache infused with fresh organic coconut milk and fresh lime zest in a white chocolate shell. It's gonna bring out the bright, crisp, tropical notes from within the Fumé Blanc, make it really nice and vibrant. The second chocolate in the pairing is the Bananas Foster Bonbon. We actually make a Bananas Foster, puree it, cut it with a little white chocolate ganache, and then encase it in milk chocolate. It's really gonna smooth the Fumé Blanc out, make it warm, rich, and delightful. The way we do this is we are first gonna take a sip of the Fumé Blanc to familiarize our palate with it. We're gonna visit the first chocolate. And back to the wine. Wonderful. We continuously repeat that same process throughout the entirety of the pairing. So back to the wine we go to reacquaint our palates with it just by itself. And onto the bananas foster. tastes like a completely different wine now. The Bananas Foster has totally smoothed it out, makes those deep, rich oak notes really come to the surface, and it muddles out those bright citrus, crispy notes that the coconut lime really brings out in it. The next wine up on our pairing is the Talbot Cali Heart Pinot Noir. It's a wonderful medium-bodied Pinot with silky smooth tannins, ripe red fruit notes, and a refreshing finish. I'm pairing it up today with my Sunflower Seed Praline Bonbon and the Strawberry Balsamic. What the Sunflower Seed Praline is gonna do to this Pinot is it's gonna bring out all those rich, grainy, and earthy tones from within the Pinot itself. So it's gonna be almost as if you can taste the soil the grapes themselves were actually grown in. Whereas that Strawberry Balsamic is gonna flip that script on you, make it a little bit more savory, bring those bright red fruit notes screaming to the surface, and give it a nice, rich finish. Now for the fun part. It has smoothed those tannins down, made those ripe red fruit notes almost totally vanish, and has given this Pinot Noir a finish that is reminiscent of that fresh spring rain on a warm day. Now to finish this one off with the strawberry balsamic. Mm. You can really taste those vibrant citrusy notes now. Earthy notes are almost non-existent at this point. That is a wonderful pairing. The final wine in our pairing today is gonna to be Michael David's Inkblot Cabernet Franc, which in my opinion is an absolutely wonderful Cab Franc. It starts off jammy and fruit forward like an old vine zen without the dustiness, and then true to Cab Franc form, dries that palate out and erupts with these wonderful tobacco and graphite notes. I'm pairing it up with the Ancho Chili Bonbon and the Brandied Cherry. What the Ancho Chili Bonbon is gonna do to this Cab Franc is rather remarkable. It's gonna take that jamminess totally away, give it this deep, rich, spicy, earthy graphite tones. It's going to make it erupt with these subtle coffee and tobacco notes. Whereas the brandied cherry is gonna smooth the whole thing out, bring those really jammy dark fruit notes right back to the surface and give it almost a chewy finish. Awesome. So time for the final fun part. But before we reach the conclusion of our pairing, I just wanted to make a side note. The whole point and purpose of these pairings 
is to open your palate up from front to back and side to side so that you truly experience what it really is to change a wine with something like chocolate. Or even if you're out to dinner, something like leg of lamb or a nice steak. You're really, really looking for those citrus notes, those sweet notes, those savory notes, those spice notes really to erupt on the palate. Really is a remarkable Cab Franc. Those rich cinnamon notes really bring out the earthiness and spice notes makes those tobacco notes spring forward across the palate. Time for the finale. The brandy soaked cherry in this Bon Pot really makes those dark red fruit notes just explode out of nowhere makes this frog jammy and chewy with a rich, brilliant finish. No better way to finish a pairing like this than with that bonbon. All right, guys, that is gonna conclude the pairing for today. I truly hope to see you guys at Chocolate Secrets. I hope I can take you through one of these pairings. I hope you can experience this magic, this bottled poetry, this edible bliss with me. I'm Stevie Duncan, the Everyday Sommelier. Thanks for coming by.